High cholesterol, are your genes to be blamed? Cholesterol is a fat-like substance that is produced in the body and obtained from some food. The body needs this cholesterol to build cell membranes, vitamin D and produce compounds that helps in fat digestion. Too much cholesterol, however, increases a person's risk of developing heart disease. Hypercholesterolemia is a condition characterized by very high levels of cholesterol in the blood. While familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH in short is an inherited condition that results from the body's inability to clear cholesterol from the blood, causing bad cholesterol or LDLC to reach high levels beginning at birth, and heart attacks at an early age. Bad cholesterol sticks to the wall and adults with FH generally have bad cholesterol levels of 4.9 millimol per liter and above. This is a hereditary disorder which means if one person is affected, all of the first degree relatives have a 50% chance of inheriting the disease. A person's first degree relative is defined as a parent, sibling, or child. If one parent has FH, there is a 50% chance of passing it to each of their children. Although you may not have heard of FH, it is a major health problem across the world. FH affects all races and ethnic groups. Approximately 1 in 500 people worldwide have FH, and in some ethnic groups, the numbers can be as high as 1 in 100. So, what are the consequences of you or your loved ones having defective genes and high bad cholesterol? This bad cholesterol is responsible for 20% of all heart attacks in people aged 45 or younger. If untreated, 50% of men and 30% of women with FH will have a heart attack by age 50 and 60 respectively. Losing a loved one to this hereditary genetic disorder is a hard and painful lesson to learn. Would it not be more beneficial to know? If you or your family members have FH then learning it the hard way? FH is a common but treatable genetic disease. Genetic tests can help to confirm the diagnosis of FH, and, by early intervention we can prevent life-threatening events. Genetic testing allows us to look at our DNA to identify mutations that we may have inherited from our parents or that have been passed down to our next generation. The FH genetic test finds out if the person has mutations with emphasis given to LDLR, Apple B, and PCSK9 genes that helps the doctor to confirm the diagnosis of FH. Once the mutation is found, other family members should be tested, to determine whether they too inherited the mutation, and if subsequent medical attention is needed. Genetic testing for FH is recommended by the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence and the Cardiac Society of Australia and New Zealand. The Dutch Lipid Clinic Network criteria defines that DNA analysis on functional mutation is one of the highest contributing factor in the diagnosis of definite FH. A pathogenic mutation too contributes to one being diagnosed as definite FH. A pathogenic mutation may be an error in a certain gene's transcription that causes impairment of the protein produced and giving rise to certain clinical symptoms and manifestations. InfoHame FH 1536 can indicate if you have genetic mutations that cause FH. Talk to your doctor and get yourself tested if you have family members who died of heart disease at a young age. Contact us today for more information.